Hey, how's it going? Echo Craft here. We are gonna check this out. This is the Ira Compact Series by Roland. Yeah, the E4 Vocal Tweaker. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, it's me again, Echo Craft, uh, doing another video. This time I'm continuing the series of the Roland Ira uh, products, which are the, uh, the T8, the J6, and now this one here, which is the E4 voice tweaker. Uh, basically, it's a vocoder, a pitch shifter. Um, I guess it does all kinds of like scatter functions. It's got reverb built into it. And also it has a, a looper, which I'm kind of excited about. This should be kind of fun to use. Uh, so I'm going to do an unboxing of this and then we're going to check it out. All right. So here we go. All right. So here it is. This is the Roland uh, Ira Compact Series. This is the Voice Tweaker E4 by Roland. And we're going to unbox this puppy right now. So... Take this guy right here. There we go. And yeah, so I picked up the compact series by Roland because I found them very intriguing. So now <clears throat> we're going to open this up. And uh, this one's supposed to be really cool. It's a bow quarter, uh, a pitch changer, pitch shifter. Uh, it does some really cool stuff. So let me just set this aside for a minute. And of course, you know, in the box, as usual, we have our manual uh, and a USB-C to USB-A cable, which is awesome. And let me put this aside. And here's the little guy right here. So I'm very excited about this because this is, uh, I have a couple of vocoders. I have the uh, VT three and the VT4, but this one intrigues the hell out of me because of the fact that uh, it has a looper built into it, which is really cool. Again, just like the other uh, ones, the J6 and the, uh, the T8, uh, we have sync in and out, we have mix in and out, volume. And to show you this again right here, we have the, uh, this would be the, um, MIDI in and MIDI out using the eighth inch to MIDI adapter, power USB-C to charge, and also connect to your DAW, because uh, it does do uh, audio through the USB-C. Um, and right here we have uh, auto pitch, we have harmony, and we have vocalizer, or vocoder right here. And then pitch, formant, scatter function, which is kind of neat. And then this is the microphone jack. So if you don't have um, a quarter inch uh, microphone cable, you can use an adapter. Um, I went out and purchased a different mic. So yeah, so let's turn this on. Let's see if we get some power. And there it is, the E4 does have power, which is really cool. So yeah, I wanna check it out, um, see what happens. We're gonna do some testing and uh, we should have some fun with this. Yeah, Roland Ira Compact Series E4 Voice Tweaker. Very cool. Hi, all right, here we go. So this is the Roland Ira Compact Series E4 Voice Tweaker, and it is really something else, I'm not kidding you. This thing is so cool. Right now I'm speaking through the Five Fine K8 microphone that I bought. It's only a $29 microphone, but it's really cool. Works out perfect with this setup. There's some plosives there, I know, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna actually demonstrate this guy. I really like this unit. First of all, what I'm gonna show you is the reverb. There's the reverb, and it's a really nice reverb, and you can bring it back, bring it up if you'd like. Um, really cool, if we hold down the vocoder button right here, we can, we can change, change it to, it to echo. Echo, 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 echo. echo, echo. And there it is. With the echo, we can control how much echo. Right there. Now we have a nice slap back echo. 
happening. So this is delay. So I'm going to show you what the delay is like. Delay is like delay is like delay. What's the delay like? The delay like 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 the delay. It's almost like an analog delay, which I love because it just keeps going, 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 keeps going. And it's it's kind of nice. So then also if we hold the vocoder button down again, we have our reverb, we have echo, we have delay, and we have chorus. So I'll show you what the chorus is awesome because it gives you a nice wide sound. And also if you go all the way up, it's kind of like a phase shifter, which is nice. What, what's really nice is I can actually do some cool stuff with this. So I'm going to go into the vocoder um, part of it, uh, the audio pitch. Um, we also have a scatter button here. Uh, we have a looper. Not good at looping yet, but you'll get the idea. So here we go. So auto pitch. So now I have auto pitch. It kind of widens the sound even more, especially with the um, with the chorus on. But now if I take this and I bring it down a little bit, here we go. So we've got some auto pitch happening, some auto correct pitch. And I'm just going to bring this up a little bit. And I don't know about you, but it sounds really cool. This is probably one of the better um, vocoders that I have. I do have the VT3 and the VT4. I think what the other one was called, what was it, the JP3 or something like that? Or the, I forget, the JV3, I think that's what it was. I sold that. It was a boutique series one that I actually sold, um, and I didn't like it. Um, I just didn't think it sounded that good. This sounds amazing. $199. Amazing. So, yeah, so uh, I'm going to just change this back. So now we got some reverb. There it is. Now, the other cool thing is if I bring this up, I got some reverb. I'm actually going to hit the harmony button now. So I can have a harmony. Harmony, harmony, harmony. Hey, baby, where do you think you're going? You're going down. It's kind of cool. I, I'm sorry if I pause every once in a while. It just blows my mind that I can do this kind of stuff. I really love that. Now, the other thing is, right now, if I wanted to, if I press the vocoder button and I had a keyboard connected to this, um, the great thing about that is uh, I could actually play the notes in, in vocoder fashion. It would play the notes. But what's really nice is if I don't have a keyboard, I can still kind of do the same thing. So I'm gonna hit the vocoder button with the harmony and the auto pitch. And now we have a vocoder. So can you hear that? It's almost robotic. Yeah, vocoder, there it is. So I can bring this up. There's my vocoder. There's my vocoder. And I'm gonna bring this up now. There we go. So hey, 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 hey. All right. I'm going to bring this back down, turn the reverb off, turn the harmony button off, and I'm going to turn the auto pitch off, and now I can actually sound like a robot. Can you hear that? We are coming to get you. Let's see. We are coming to get you. There it is. I am a robot. 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 So... That's kind of cool, and you know, can bring it down a little bit and get that real robotic sound. I don't know. It's kind of nice. I like it. Um, and let me just bring this back. So now you have me normal again, um, if that's what you want to call me. The other cool thing is a scatter feature. So we're going to bring this up a little bit and bring this down. So now we have a scatter feature, and I'm just going to, this is format, and this is pitch, so I'm going to use a scatter, this is pitch. <laughs> Scatter function, scatter function, scatter. All right, so it's really trust, 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 as you can tell. There we go. Now we put a little bit of reverb on that, and we can go like this. There you go. So here we are. Bring me back down there, a little bit like that. Here we go. So a little bit normal. Now, one more thing I want to show you is the looper function. 
Um, so I'm going to just do that right now. Let's try this robotic robotic. I am a robot. I am a robot. I am a robot. All right, here we go. Ready? I am a robot. Robot I am. 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 I am a robot. I am a robot. I am a robot. I am a robot. I am. I am a robot. Robot I am. A robot. I am a robot. I am. I again. What I just said. I am not very good at this kind of thing yet, so I am practicing, and I'm gonna go way down like this. I am. I am a robot. Robot I am. So when you hit and hold the, let me get out of this. There we go. I'm going to bring it back down, bring it back down, bring it back down. There we go. So if I don't want it in the loop anymore, if I hold down the clear hold button, which is basically the stop button in the looper, right there, you can see that it is clearing the loop. Pretty cool. 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 All right, so there you have it. Um, there's a whole bunch of other things you can do with this. Uh, there's different menus you can get into. I just wanted to do a quick demo of it and show you what it was capable of doing. Sounds awesome. Sounds pretty good. 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 Sounds awesome. So don't forget to check it out. Roland Ira Compact Series E4 Voice Tweaker. All right. Cool. Peace out. Yeah, so there you have it. That's the Ira Voice Tweaker or the E4 uh, Ira Compact Series. And I think it's cool. I can't wait to do some stuff with it with all three of them um, connected. The uh, T8, the J6, and the E4 all connected, having some fun with that stuff. And um, I'm going to do a video of that as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you see on my channel, please subscribe and uh, ring the bell. All right. Stay creative. All right. Have a good night. Echo Craft signing out. Peace.